Hello everyone. Welcome to IITM student community channel. This is the part 2 of the discussion of maths on paper of qualifier exam. So here is question number 8 to 11. A set is given A equal to 1 to 3 and a relation R subset of A cross A. Now table 1 in which column A shows the relation and column B shows the type of relation. In column A there is 6 relation R1, R2, R3, R4, R5, R6 and in column B there is types of relation. So now first is symmetric relation. What is symmetric relation? If a comma b belongs to R, then b comma a also belongs to R. For all, if for all a comma b belongs to R. Antisymmetric relation a comma b belongs to R. A not equal to B and then B comma A should not belongs to R. Identity relation A comma A belongs to R or all A belongs to A. That is all the elements of A are related to itself only. Transitive relation. If A comma B belongs to R and B comma C also belongs to R, then A comma C should be belongs to R. Then it is a transitive relation. Reflexive relation. What is reflexive relation? A comma A belongs to R for all A belongs to A. Now what is the difference between reflexive relation and identity relation? Let's take an example. If we take R2 and R5. In R2 2 the elements are 1 1 1 2 1 1 2 2 3 3 and uh, the elements of a is 1 2 3 so the identity relation is all the elements of a is related to the elements of a itself only that means here is 1 is related to 1, 2 is related to 2, 3 is related to 3. But in R5, here it is an extra element. Here 1 is one related to 1 and 1 is related to 2 also. So in reflexive relation, the elements of A can be related to the A, elements of A itself. And the other elements also but in identity relation the elements should be related to the elements of A itself only this is the difference it's an identity relation and it's an reflexive relation okay now what is equivalence relation when the relation hold the properties of transitive relation, reflexive relation and symmetric relation then that will be a equivalence relation. Okay. So what is our question? State true or false. R6 does not match with any type of relation given in column B. So uh, if we see R6 the elements are 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 1, 2, 3. Okay. First is symmetric relation. So, we can see 
1 comma 2 belongs to RC and 2 comma 1 belongs to RC. It's okay. But 2 comma 3 belongs to RC but 3 comma 2 not belongs to RC. So it's not a symmetry relation. Next anti-symmetry. Here 1 comma 2 belongs to R6 for anti symmetry 2 comma 1 should not belong to R6 but in R6 2 comma 1 is present so it's not a anti symmetry next identity relation for identity relation we know 1 comma 1 2 comma 2 3 comma 3 should be there but 2 comma 2 and 3 comma 3 are missing in R6 so it's not a identity relation also transitive relation here 1 comma 2 belongs to R6 2 comma 3 belongs to R6 then there should be an element which is 1 comma 3 but 1 comma 3 1 comma 3 is not belongs to R6 so it's not a transitive relation also reflexive relation there should be 2 comma 2 3 comma 3 but they are not belong to R6 and not a reflexive also and for equivalent relation the relation should be reflexive transitive and symmetric but the relation is not reflexive not transitive not symmetric so this statement is true R6 does not match it is only one of relation given in column B so this True. Next question is state true or false R1 matches with all type of relation except anti-symmetric relation given in column B. So what is R1? R1 equal to 1 comma 1. R1 equal to 1 comma 1. So the statement said R1 matches with all types of relation except anti-symmetric relation. But in the given set A equal to 1 to 3. So to be the relation identity relation there should be 2 comma 2 and 3 comma 3. But they are not in that relation so it's not a identity relation so this statement is not correct it's false next in total how many relation given in column a matches with transitive relation let's see you can clearly see from these six relation that only R6 is not transitive relation. So, in total, 5 relation are transitive relation. So, this is false. Okay. Next question. In total, how many relation given in column A matches with Reflexive relation. Okay. You can see that only R2 and R5, these two relations are reflexive relation. So the answer is 2. Next question. Consider the following relations defined on the set of integers r1 equal to x comma y such that x comma y belongs to z and y equals to x square minus 1 and r2 is x comma y such that x comma y belongs to z and mod of x plus mod of y equals to 1 choose the correct option First option, uh, okay, how 
is the set of R1 look like is like for 0 x equal to 0 it becomes minus 1 for x equal to 1 it becomes 0 or x equal to minus 1 it becomes 0 for 2 it becomes 3 for minus 2 it becomes 3 and so on and r2 looks like mod y mod minus mod x uh, so r2 looks like 0 comma 1 if we put x equal to 1 it becomes 0 for minus 1 it becomes 0 for 2 it becomes 1 and uh, for minus 2 it become for minus 2 it become 1 also and so on like this so first option is r1 meet r2 represents an injective function so what is injective function so if the images of distinct elements of x distinct elements of x under f are distinct that means if for fc x1 comma x2 belongs to z there is this distinct y1 comma y2 belongs to z such that if x1 equals to y1 and if x2 equals to y2 